Welcome to this tutorial, the first ever video on Frank Tech Channel, where I'm going to teach you how to transform a PS1 game into a big AG for your PlayStation 3. Maybe you are excited about the PS1 Classic announcement and want to revisit the good old PS1 games on a console. Remember that you need to hack your PS3 with the hand exploit before in order to run these games on your console. So let's start! The first thing that we are going to need is download the RAR file uh, that is in the video's description and extract it right on your desktop. We open the desktop, then go to psx2 psp and we open psx to psp.exe. Now on the, we click on convert menu, we select our game, in this case we have Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Then we go to output pvp folder and select the same folder that we just created on the desktop. Click OK, then we go to options and set compression level to zero. So we click save and then we click convert. Okay, now that is done we click OK. We'll, we're gonna let this open and go back here. As you can see we have created um, a game with a, a folder with a game on it on evo.pvp. We have to cut this and paste it right here. I'm going to delete this. Then we're gonna drag and drop the abot.pvp on this one, uh, metadata.exe. Okay, now that we just made that, now we have to open title id command.txt and use the uh, information of the title id. We have to replace this in this that we just have that so we copy and paste and replace it here then we copy the command and open cmd.exe and paste it right here we click enter and win then we close now we have this iso.pin.edat and eboot those files we're gonna put it on a PS1 classic game template, but we're gonna use, we're not gonna just use this one, so we're gonna copy a new one, so we can have this a template for a, probably a, a maybe an, a new game that you want to make, so <clears throat> in order to keep doing PS1 games, you have to maintain this folder intact, so first evil.pvp, we're going to cut it, and paste it right in user tier and content. Now we go back and grab iso.pin.edat, copy it, cut it, uh, sorry, then we go to user tier and paste it right here. The next thing that we're going to do is open the PS1 game and open pram.es4 with a file that I just gave you in this folder. You have to use param as a folder editor here. So in order to do that, just go to open with, choose another app, select the file that I just told you. So go right here, param sfo editor, and we select it. Now we have to change this with the info that we have here the title game ID click save and then we replace file click yes and close it now we have to place the image you can see we have a Chrono Cross example here, so I made my own here with um, using Photoshop or GIMP. Let me know in the comment if you want a tutorial of for doing these images, so you have to just replace them. I'm just gonna copy and paste here. So now we have our param.es4 and our images edited so we have to rename this folder with the game ID
now we're gonna t we're going to cut it sorry on true ancestor then game we paste it here now open repacker.exe hit one on your keyboard and then enter select the folder with one then enter Now that it's done, we press any key to continue and close this window and go to the KG folder. As you can see, we have our file here, so we cut it and we need to sign it right now. Here and drag and drop. Now that our package it's signed we have to close this and put this file on a thumb drive remember that the thumb drive has to be on FAT32 in order to the PS3 to read it so let's go to the PS3 so the first thing that we're going to do is enable hand Then go to package manager and tell package files standard and select the package that we have created. Then we have to wait till the file is copied to the console. So when it's done, it's gonna go back. Then we go to PlayStation and select the package file again and install it. It's finished. Let's open the game. As you can see, it has the images that we just put. And there you go guys, hope you like this video, remember to subscribe, comment, and let me know if you have any questions. So, see you!